Now I'm going to try and sketch a hyperbola that's been shifted. y equals 1 over x plus 1 plus 2. So this is y is 1 over x, but it's been shifted left 1. Remember, it's minus h, so this is subtracting a negative 1, so it's been shifted left 1, plus 2, so up 2. If I put it on the other side for minus k, it'll be minus 2, so up 2. So my asymptotes are normally y equals 0 and x equals 0. So here, I've been shifted left by 1. So my new asymptote is here. And that is x equals negative 1. That's one of the asymptotes. The other asymptote has been shifted up 2. So it's here. y equals 2 is my other asymptote. Now, the curve I want to draw, it's a positive coefficient, so it's going to be up here and down here. But exactly how far up and how far down? Well, let's work that out. Uh, I can probably work out intercepts. If x is 0, then y is 1 plus 2, which is 3. There's a useful point. And if y is 0, that might be a bit harder. Let's work it out. 0 equals 1 over x plus 1 plus 2. Put the 2 on the other side. Negative 2 equals 1 over x plus 1. Cross multiply. Negative 2 x plus 1 equals 1. Expand the brackets. Put the x on the other side and the 1 on this side. Negative 2 take 1 equals 2x. x is, sorry, let me do one more step, negative 3. x is negative 3 on 2. Negative 1 and a half. So that's here. Um, then my curve is going to come like this and like that. Let's have a go. It goes, it keeps going, comes down from here and goes along there. If you wanted, you could pick one or two more values of x to substitute. For example, x equals to 1 is a half plus 2 is actually 2 and a half. So it doesn't actually get that low until out here. So my, my, my graph isn't quite accurate. You could put a few more points in if you wanted to to get it a bit more accurate. 